Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 3. I am recording once again. And I know what to do. And I'm recording this for like the third time. One time my audio crashed like never before. Actually happened like never before. First time it ever happened to me and it crashed. Second time my commentary was all over the place. When editing it I was like... This commentary is such low quality, being all over the place, there's no one hell uploading this. So, yeah. It's lower quality than normally, let's put it that way. Not to say that my quality is that bad overall, but like if you go a couple months back, my quality was way less in commentary. And that's better nowadays, already, so I hope it's gonna get better from here because I'm not always really happy with the quality of my commentary. Oh yeah, dialogue. We are the Saronian engineers, the greatest minds in the world. We have been expecting you. We have unearthed... I think that's what it says at least. Starting of episode, good. Oh my god. And restore the flying ship from the ancient ruins. It's called Nadulus, and it's yours to take. Let's go, guys! So yeah, I have already read this dialogue, which makes things a little bit easier on my part. Huh? What? Wait for me! Also, there's a lot of dialogue, but I also want to talk about some little tiny... tiny thing. About E3. And I know I'm late on this one. I'm like... half a week late. Or almost a week, actually. We moored ship outside the castle, yeah, okay. The owner of the Nautilus. So yeah, I know I'm a little bit late on this one, but I didn't want to make it to a separate video because it's just me talking and now it's just me talking and playing the game at the same time. I mean, that's what Let's Playing is at the end of the day, talking and playing the game. So why would I make different videos for just talking and not playing games? It doesn't make any sense. But that means I'm not going to talk too much about the game today. I know what to do, so that's a little bonus. The Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 have been, well, pretty much fully detailed released. I don't know of any details that I could think of off the top of my hat that I don't know which I do want to know about both consoles. And PlayStation 4 has won at this current moment in time. I mean, this generation isn't even started, so you can't say... Well, PlayStation 4 has won, but it has the best start, and it, that's going to help a lot. Okay, uh, I don't know how strong these things are, so I am just going to tune at them, just in case. And for some reason, birds seem to not like Arrow in this game. So, yeah, PlayStation 4 has taken the lead by far. And I would say, personally, and this is really... Pathetic for the Xbox One, but personally, the Wii U is at second place at this point, for, personally for me. And I think a lot of people share my opinion, especially since they released the trailer for Super Smash Bros. For the Wii U, and a couple other games maybe, I don't know. Mostly Smash, though. So, yeah. Once you get beaten by the Wii U, you know you've done something horribly, horribly wrong. So yeah, Microsoft with the Xbox One at this current point in time is the lowest thing in the console war at this generation. And dialogue, so I will continue my story in a moment. Who dares trespass inside the great wizard's Doga's Manor? Seize them! Okay, so this is only going to be a lot of kupo. What I wanted to talk about is what does that mean for PC gaming? Because a friend of mine kind friend of mine. I, I don't think he posted himself. I think he reposted it, like sharing it on Facebook. Oh, hmm. I know you, don't I? Ha, huh. the Warriors of Light. Could you have come? Well, that changed up pretty quickly. <laughs> I have something to tell you. The one who is summoning the darkness into this world is none other than Zandi. Zandi, you and I, and I were apprentices of the great Magus Noah. Who comes up with these names? 
when Noah died, you bestowed gifts upon us. The power of magic to me, the world of dream to you and I, and Zandi, Noah grants him, granted his him mortality. Pretty much, yeah. Talking is hard. Don't judge me. Of course, Zandi was not pleased. No, obviously he isn't. He covered the world in darkness and stopped the flow of time. Zandi's plan was to stay, uh, to stay his even to all demise by halting time itself. That's actually a pretty good plan. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But then you appeared and restored time to its rightful rhythm. However, Zandi seems to intend stopping time again. We will do the exact same thing. Come, you must help me stop Zandi. So yeah. A friend of mine, I think, shared something on Facebook. I might have posted it himself. I am not quite sure anymore. Come, you must escort me to the cave of the circle. In my room, there's a secret passage that leads to the cave. The candle under the... Yeah. So, yeah. He posted something along the lines of... Like a joke about... The whole new console wars and the new generation. And it really doesn't matter all that much because PC gaming is the best thing ever. I will get into that argument in a moment. But it was a joke along the lines of... Once upon a time... Someone was watching the E3 conferences for the new consoles. When he saw Battlefield 4, he really... I don't know whether or not you could still hear me or only the game audio paused. But he really wanted to play a game that beautiful once he saw Battlefield 4. Then he turned on his PC and started playing. Obviously the joke in this is PC... Gamers have much more powerful machines than PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. And a lot of people actually have systems that are as powerful as the new generation consoles at this point in time. A lot of people don't. And let me put one thing clear already. The PCs that are just as powerful as the new consoles are expensive. You're not going to get a PC as powerful as a PlayStation 4 for 400 bucks. Not going to happen. On the other hand side, you can get a PlayStation, a more powerful machine than a PlayStation 3 for just about the cost of a PlayStation 3 these days. So, that's true. And yeah, PC gaming, PCs are just more powerful. That's a thing, that's not an opinion, that's a fact. You can't argue against it, that's, that's just a fact. But, one thing I don't like about this joke... And people take it as a joke. And it is a joke. But it's also very serious. But Because people really think about it that way. And I will continue my story yet again after this bit of dialogue. We must hurry. My time is almost come. I will cast a spell on your ship that make, may travel underwater. Something along those lines. Why did we have to go down here for that? I'm wondering. Random words! <laughs> the Nautilus can now travel underwater. Yeah, you can do like two side quests underwater, I don't know. I, I'm i not gonna do them, probably. At south from Saronia. The Temple of Time lies between pillars... Uh, yeah, I know where to go. What does Noah's loot do? It's a magic loot. Uh, yeah, it's a magic loot. Something with the Dreamlands. Kirby, and stuff. You must hurry now. I will teleport you outside. We can do that ourselves. We don't need your help. So yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I remember. So yeah. My problem with this joke is people take it serious because it's 50-50 meant to be serious. Because it's an actual argument. And let me explain why it's not a valid argument. <laughs> because people say, well, I don't care about consoles. My PC is more powerful than the new generation of consoles already. And by the way, if you do have a PC that's that powerful, way to go. <laughs> you have spent way too much money on your PC. But that aside, most games 
AAA titles especially, are developed for this PlayStation or this Xbox, or both. Probably both. <laughs> At this point in time, multi-platform games aren't really that uncommon anymore. Most games are multi-platform and everything that's released on a console almost will make it onto PC and that town didn't have anything to heal. So, it is developed with a console in mind because they know they will sell the most copies on console. Also, would they develop with a strong PC in mind? It wouldn't run on console. So that means your PC is limited, your PC games, I should say, is limited by the fact that the games are also developed for weaker hardware. That's it. And I've had some arguments with people about this, and people tend to disagree with me. I don't know why, because it's a fact. It's a fact. Those games are developed for Xbox and PlayStation. Whatever Xbox and PlayStation ever, let's say for now 3 and 360, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, those are the platforms where games are developed on. They are ported to PC, so you can play them on PC, and obviously the graphics are better on PC because, well, if you do play on a PC that's as powerful as a PlayStation 3, you might want to buy a new PC, <laughs> if you can afford it, that is. So I know where to go next. But I need to load up another save file, so that will be next episode. I will finish my story real quick, though. Yeah, so with new generation of hardware for consoles, games are developed for more powerful hardware, which means your PC games will also be better, nicer, better looking, better mechanics, and all that kind of stuff. If you disagree with me, which a lot of people seem to do, please don't just say, you're wrong and you're stupid. Say, you're wrong, you're stupid, and tell me why. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all back next time with Final Fantasy 3, when we will take on the Temple of Time, and I'm a little bit underleveled, but I will just run away from every single encounter that's too powerful for me. Bye.